what's going on set free fishing how's everybody doing thank you for tuning in thank you for all the love and support and my recent videos um to me it seems like the unboxing videos have been doing pretty good so uh i got another unboxing i wasn't even really gonna do one it's actually gonna be like an unboxing slash a little bit of tackle talk what i use to use this particular lure the the setup i have for 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 these lures and just another setup i have in general so first off <clears throat> i've been in the market well i say in the market i've been wanting <clears throat> a new camera for quite a while sometime or for quite a while now um and just haven't pulled the trigger on it i just been on the been on the fence about it for a while now because the one i have is good i like it you know, I've filmed a ton of content with it, but it seems like it's getting hotter faster. Um, you know, I got a power pack for it and everything, and everything works great. So I'm going to kind of use it and probably set it towards the back of the boat to catch a different view of things. So I'll have two different views going if my, you know, if my editor slash wife allows it. Um, I don't want to make it way harder on her so it might not be like a ton of few, uh a ton of two view, two view footages but um i'm gonna try it and see what it's like and see how y'all like it I, I think it'll be cool to have a different perspective of things uh it'd be cool to actually see what i have going on rather than you know me being behind the camera all the time i think it'll be pretty cool i think it'll be interesting uh so Everybody knows Ron now, um, somewhat New Hope Fishing Lures. You know me and him's uh, getting a little bit closer. I got some more baits coming from him. Uh, the wormies that he sent out for the wife, well, I had him make a bunch more because they worked really well. So they worked really well, so I got him to make uh, 25 of each. I think he ended up doing 20 of each color and then 10 like surprise baits so that was cool with me I'm, I'm good with that and he just happened to make a post about uh does anybody want to buy a gopro and i said bam interested so it kind of worked out for both of us he was wanting to sell it because he wasn't using it and i was wanting a gopro and it just happened you know it worked out he needed to sell it i wanted to buy it we got together we made it happen so Without further ado, here's the new camera for set free fishing. It is a it is a GoPro Hero 9 black. And so far I loved it. I've already <laughs> I've already looked at it. I couldn't wait. I have not looked at this box yet, but I've already looked at it. And man, thank you so much, Ron. I, I appreciate you know all the support. I mean, he's like one of my biggest contributors to the channel right now. So I thank you so much for all the support and and the love you have given the channel and all the shares that you're doing you know you you have helped boost my channel a bunch and it, it, it does not go unnoticed and and um I, it's from the bottom of my heart thank you so as soon as i open this up he snuck one in on me and that's just the kind of guy ron is so hit him up man if you want some baits if you need some baits made he's a phenomenal painter I mean, look at that. Look at that. And he didn't even have to do this. He just chose to. That's a that's a cool looking bait. I like it. It uh, reminds me of, I think Mega Bass has some crankbaits that's similar to that. But it's a pretty, pretty cool color. It's gold. It's got a lot of gold in it. So that might be a plus because as everyone um, will see soon, um, some things are about to change at the pit because... I, I found some fish spitting up shiners, wild shiners. So that changes everything. That changes, uh, it broadens my lure span, what I can throw, what, what profile of bait I can throw now. It just changes so much to know that those wild shiners are out there and I, I can use gold colors. And gold flake has always worked, so, you know, stuff with gold flake in it. So it makes sense. And... For him to send a gold bait, that's going to be a plus. And it's got some blue and purple in it. So it's like all their favorite colors in one bait. 
So can't wait to use that. I appreciate that very much, Ron. And here's the baby. Here's the new baby. Can't wait to start filming with this. I love everything about it so far. Um, I'm going to have to... I'm probably going to end up getting either a muff for it or a case or, or a power pack for this one because the power pack I have will not work with this one. But thus far, I love it and I cannot wait to use it and start filming with it. Everyone knows, you know, if you know anything about them, it has the viewing screen on the front so you can actually view what what's being filmed. And um, I, I'm really happy and really, really stoked about getting started with this with this thing and and making it some making some changes in the channel um on the way we capture content it came with uh you know this nice case and a few different attachments and mounts and stuff like that some pretty cool mounts that i ain't seen before it's a little clippy clip mount i guess i left the other mounts in there because there's there's this one and then there's oh there's this this floats it's it's foam and it floats this little clippy clip is pretty cool and it's magnetized also so it'll stick to metal um so that's pretty neat pretty neat it came with this stuff um came with a, a sd card and i shouldn't have done it but i already did i should have i should have surprised him and added his content to my content because he left a little little bit of footage on on the memory chip so yeah you did and uh i should have put it on here with it i i, I mentioned it to the wife and that would have been pretty cool that would have been you know pretty funny um so that's one of the things i've gotten recently and uh there's a couple other things i've gotten but i'm gonna go ahead and tear into this six cent box everybody knows i'm a i'm a nut for six cent i love their baits i love the quality of baits they have and i love the styles and the i mean they're they're just they're just starting to blow up and i've been with them for a while and um you know, I'm going to represent a company I stand behind, so uh, I got some great things in here. <laughs> I'm so excited about these. I cannot wait because it's just something so, uh, their famous sticker, Sense It. Um, you know, I've put a lot of pressure on these fish with crankbaits, you know, here in, here in recent times. So I got the all new Pressure Series. Yes, sir. Cannot I. I mean, I am stoked. You know, this is my forte. Everybody knows I love crankbait fishing. I love throwing a crankbait. These ones dive 13 to 16. I believe I can get it down to 20 with the with the style I fish them. Um, I, I fish a little bit lighter line, and and it, it helps me get that bait a little bit deeper than normal. So I am ready to throw these. This will be these will for sure be tied on ASAP. ASAP. Um, and what's what's so different about this bait is it's a flat side, man. It's a flat side deep diving crankbait, and they got it in all sizes. Um, it's just so much different. It's like a, it's almost like a hard knock to me. Yeah, buddy. Um, looks like they changed their brand of hooks. That might be some BKK hooks right there. That's kind of what it looks like, possibly. Um. I don't think it says. I'll have to do some more reading up on them. But um, this is the, 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 the Smoke 6. This color is phenomenal looking. Um, it don't look extravagant to y'all, but it is to me. Blue back, a little red on the belly. It's like a, it's like a metallic back. Um, and then the she, it's got a lot of pearl essence a lot of pearl looking glitter in the side and of course that famous kill dot man this crankbait i, I should have bought more i should have bought more this crankbait this i haven't seen none quite like this um that's a good looking bait that's a good looking bait and i cannot wait to throw it everybody knows i love slinging a crankbait so this will be no different I'm gonna have to get a bigger box. I got so many crankbaits. This color right here, and this is the uh, PD uh, 16. So it dives, like I said, 13 to 16 foot. And this one is the Shad World is the name of it. It's like a matte. 
It's like a matte color. Oh man, this bait looks. What? What? This bait is serious. It's a matte finish. I would say I wouldn't mind clear coating it, but that would I think that would take away. It's pearl. It, I mean, it's super pearl. I doubt y'all are gonna be able to pick this up well in the camera, but it's like a like a lavender back, and of course that citrus, that sour truce down this down the down the back right there, and it's got a lot of pearl, and then that bleeding. Man, this is a phenomenal looking crankbait. I think I'll be, oh, I don't even know which one to sling first. I guess I'm going to have to rig two poles with crankbaits. And I got them now where I could do that. But man, once again, they knock it out of the park. I know uh, I, I've been hearing a lot of people say, oh, they're, you know, they, they're so good at marketing. They hype everything up and then, you know, you're let down once you get it. Yeah, well, joke's on you. If you fish it properly, if you fish the baits like they're meant to be fished, um, a lot of people are saying some stuff about the hangover and how it, you know, I mean, even Ben said it himself, it falls really stupid. Everybody knows it falls stupid. They admitted it falls stupid, especially if you get the fast sink. But they swim phenomenal. If you, if you, if you pair everything properly like you're supposed to, if you use the proper rod, the proper reel with the proper ratio and the proper line that bait swims beautiful and the and the the hunting action that it has is phenomenal i haven't caught nothing on it yet personally and i wish i i wish i had some film for y'all showing the proof of of how great it works but there's plenty of film out there and plenty of posts out there showing how well it works so it works and like i said a lot of things have changed since this wild shiner incident so i had to go and i had to go and grab the five inch and the reason i grabbed this because this is almost the exact size i seen that fish spit up so i got the five inch trace in the live shiner color that's gonna be a stunner right there i mean I, that's almost identical to what that fish spit up so man i cannot wait to put this in the water i think this is I, i'm super i'm super excited and super stoked for this next trip because i think it's going to be i think it's going to be a good one granted this weather has got back funky this week in florida we're going to be in the 40s all week they were trying to start somewhat pushing up they're all full of road every every everything's ready to spawn but it just ain't quite there yet so man i cannot wait to throw this thing i cannot wait to throw them crankbaits i'm gonna have each one of these things tied on um so yeah that's 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 my new my new baits i cannot wait to throw them and I, i've gotten several new things recently i just i just neglect doing unboxings a lot so i got me the lose kvd lfs um seven five to one you know it's got 20 pounds of max drag i've lo i love the lfs the lose speed spool lfs but this thing right here i'm telling you right now if you've never had one of these this is a good reel right here this is a really good reel and i'm mostly using in the, i'm mostly using this one for like an all-around reel like um because you know seven five to one is like that in between ratio where you can use it for worm or you can use it for chatterbait or you can use it for you know just about all around jigs and whatever and whatnot spinner baits so it's a good all around reel and i don't even remember what rod i paired this with i think it's like a 7.2 heavy i got it on right now but i got you know i i i'll swap my reels and rods around you know i'll put this reel on this rod and then and then so i find like the perfect the perfect setup um so everybody uh i'm i'm switching the left hand as a lot of people may know so uh, i sold all my right-handed reels and that's why i'm getting these new reels i also picked me up from bass pro the pro qualifier 2 um it, i was having a lot of trouble finding a um a five ratio reel because that's what I like using for deep cranking 
I use a five ratio reel because it helps it get it way down there and it helps uh, make that bait dive deeper. So that's what I use when I'm cranking and, and doing any real deep cranking. So I ended up picking up this reel and it's uh, the, the, the five six to one. It, it only got a 10 pound max drag, but that's fine because um, I mean, I really don't need nothing over that. I, I, I like letting them fight back when it when, when there's a crankbait tied on so i got that um paired with my uh arc uh, randall tharp rocket launcher it's a 711 uh, medium heavy and if you haven't seen like any of my past videos of of my crankbait setup when I say rocket launcher, it's not an understatement. It will sling any crankbait you throw on it a mile. And so far, I like this reel paired with it. It's doing very well. And they had it on sale at Bass Pro. They only have it in left hand, though. So that was fortunate for me. And um, they had it on sale for 50 bucks, I think it was. Or, or $49.99 or $59.99. So I picked that up, and I got that as my new cranking reel paired with my rocket launcher and I love it so far and I bought some line recently uh Amazon had a good deal on some Seaguar and Vizex this so far I've used and and it's kind of preference I guess but I've used several several different lines I mean I've used a bunch of different types and this has never let me down it casts superb. I mean, the casting on this line is so excellent. Um, and it's a little bit smaller diameter than most fluorocarbon. Uh, so that's one of the reasons I like. And same with their Brasics. The Brasics is another good one. And it's, and it's really good for abrasion. So, But I, I use the Invisex a lot. I've just had a lot of good luck with it. I've tried Sunline. The FC Sniper, the FC Assassin, the the Sunline Super, or FC Super, or whatever it's called, the blue the blue box, and I just didn't care for them. I just didn't care for them. I didn't care for the way they cast it. I've tried the Strike King uh, Pro Tour, the Contour, or whatever it's called, both of those ones. I've tried, you know, even the red label of this, and I don't really care for it. I've tried. Vicious, I've tried. Um, I haven't tried none of the, like, well, that's even made by um, Seaguar, the the Tastu or whatever. I, I, I butcher names. I'm not good at names. But I've tried pretty much. You name the line, I've tried it. The same with um, Suffix, I've tried it. Now, I do use Suffix Braid. I use the Suffix... Um, the suffix 832 but i want to try that suffix uh 181 or something like that it's a it's a it's supposed to be like more strands or whatever i think the one i use is like eight and i think the new one the other one is like 18 or maybe something but don't don't hold me to it i'm, I'm not 100 percent sure but this is 12 pound right here this is like my all around all my other rods, I, I'll put 12 pound, except, you know, I have one one rod with braid, and it's usually got that suffix 832 40 pound test. And then my flipping stick, of course, it has, um, if I ain't mistaken, it has 60 or 65 pound. Um, I believe it's got the Power Pro, but it's that blue box. Um, not the slick, but it's that new, it, it came out a couple years ago, and it's, it's supposed to be like, 30 times thinner than normal braid or whatever and it really is and um i think i got that on there but this is what i got on my cranking rod right here is 10 pound same thing seaguar and visex 10 pound test that's all i use on my uh my cranking setup because uh, that's all i need you know i set my drag to where they can fight back i don't really plan on breaking off um most of the time you're not setting the hook you know well, I ain't because of the style of cranking that I do. Even straight cranking, once I feel them, I just, you know, lean into it, and they're pretty much hooked, you know. And 
So that's that's the line I use with my reels, and I love it. I've I've used it for about two and a half years now, and it hasn't let me down. And I and I pair uh, most of my fluorocarbon. I pair it with a when I'm tying when I'm tying up. I use the double line uni knot, not not the double uni, but the double line. I got a tutorial video on on my channel here for it, but it's the double line the double line uni knot and it's great to me it's better than the polymer knot for fluorocarbon because like i've said in previous videos the polymer knot if you use it with fluoro it will cinch down on itself on the hook set or or whatever and whatnot and it will cut into itself and and you'll break off your loose fish because of it. i have i've experienced per if have experienced it personally so that's why i choose to use the double line uni knot san diego jams another good knot for fluorocarbon i do use the polymer knot sometimes if i want a real quick knot when i'm using braid but strictly on braid and even then i still most of the time i'll use that double line uni knot it's a proven knot it works really good there's been many a test done on the you know the the pulling tests or whatever and it's a proven knot it works really well so if you've never tried it look up my tutorial video or look up another tutorial video and check it out and some of this stuff is linked linked in my uh amazon storefront so if you want to find some good deals on some stuff i got them linked in my amazon storefront which is in my bio here on youtube and i also just recently bought the plano um plano edge uh, you know, the yellow one, one hand open jig box. And I love it, man. I've got my chatter baits, my jigs and my spinner baits in it. I got my spinner baits just laid sideways in it. I love it. And they got a great deal right now. It's also in my Amazon storefront. If you want to go check it out and grab you one, there's a really good deal on it right now. I wish I could give you a code to save some money on this. I mean, you can use, there's several guys that do have code. Maybe one day I will have a code for you to use on there. But if you want to save some money when you go over to Sixth Cent to buy some stuff, use um, MF10. That's Ben Milliken's, you know, discount code that he gives everybody. You can use JR, JR10. That's Justin Royals discount code. Um, there's several people that have discount codes, but that's, you know, two of the guys I know off the top of my head that would be much appreciative uh of you using their code um but if you do want to save on some baits i do have a code you can use with swamp pro lures so if you haven't checked them out yet go check them out on tiktok um i believe they got facebook and and instagram and you know all the social media sites but um you know i'm recently pro staff with them they got some great lures if you ain't checked them out yet they got some great soft plastics they got the all new clinch shed so go check them out, and while you're over there, use code SENIOR10, that's S-I-N-I-A-R-D-10, and you'll save you 10% on some products and get you some worms at 10% off. You can't beat that, and they're always running deals too, so you stack that 10% with it, and you can you can bring you home some roaches and, and some coffin cutters. If you haven't paired one of them roaches or coffin cutters with a jig, you're missing out, man. They, they're, they are awesome awesome jig trailers um and that's about as far as i've took it with them um i would love to see their power glide they got a bait called a power glide it looks like a jerk bait but it's got two power tails like almost like a speed worm tails and i would love to see that in like a three inch so maybe i can reach out to them sometime and and maybe they can maybe they can get that mold made in like a three inch or a four inch or something like that so you could pair it with a chatterbait or a spinnerbait i think that would make a phenomenal trailer for a chatterbait or a spinnerbait so yeah maybe i can reach out and get that get that in the mix or if they see this video yeah that maybe maybe keep that in mind that'd make a great trailer so that's that's all I have for y'all. A little bit of tackle talk, a little bit of unboxing, a little bit of things to come for the channel. So thank you for tuning in. I thank you for all the love and support. And remember, while you're out there, make the tug your drug.